Well, the Swiss TV said, hmm, interesting idea, but it should be more like a series. And we said, no, 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 reality shows are going to be the next big thing. I mean, just look at the questionnaires, but they didn't see it. They kept saying, well, if it's more like a series, we might be interested. So we flew back to LA. In LA, we first had to catch up with life again. We were both dead broke, so we ran from one job to another. We helped people paint their houses. We moved furniture. Roman worked as a bartender. I helped out at a Swiss bakery. Roman did voiceovers and in the evening worked as a waiter. I jumped around in costumes and finally started working as a personal trainer. Whatever it took to make ends meet. But then a few months later, we met Robert Kunowitz. Robert was another Swiss guy who moved to LA in the pursuit of happiness. He once even worked for Swiss television, so that was perfect. So we teamed up with him and started changing the concept from a reality show into a new drama series. We wrote a new script, contacted agencies, organized castings and rehearsals, put together a film crew, scraped together $2,000 and then finally, three months later, shot a new 8-minute trailer. The trailer was structured pretty simple. After a cool intro, we then introduce all the different characters. Natalie, the femme fatale of the group. Then we have Roman, the comedian. Diana, who doesn't belong in Hollywood. Patrick, the likable loser. Then Clarissa, the rich and spoiled one of the group. And Daniel, the wannabe action star. They all meet and study at the International School of Acting. Jack Spencer is the teacher who not only teaches them acting, but also prepares them in facing endless competition, rejection and disappointment. Nach Hollywood ist so frustrierend, weißt du? Einmal bist du zu dick, zu dünn, zu groß, zu klein. Together they will not only experience false hope, jealousy and broken hearts, but also discover life, love, friendship and most of all themselves. Now this time we knew we we're going to have our breakthrough. Everything was just too perfect. So we scraped together all the money we could find, which was just enough for one ticket. So we decided Roman is going to go back to Switzerland. Arriving in Switzerland, Rowan then got first invited for a late night show before he then went to the second meeting with Swiss television. Das Projekt, das ist ein Soap über Schicksal, also mm -hmm. wo du ja gut nicht kennst von jungen Schauspielern. Ja, von uns selber, ja. Und dort haben wir eine Promo jetzt immerhin schon gedreht. Genau, Den ja. werden wir jetzt schnell miteinander anschauen nach Menschen. Made in Hollywood! This time, Swiss TV showed more interest and the biggest newspaper wrote a story about it. But then the network said that first of all, they can't finance a show like that themselves and second, they're not willing to take the risk by themselves. Now, that's kind of a typical Swiss attitude because they call it a risk. Now, Americans would say taking a chance. But hey, what can you do? At least they said they're going to talk to the German network ZDF to see if they could be a possible co-production. Schweizer Fernsehen zurückkommen, nachdem sie mit dem ZDF geredet haben und sie haben gemeint, das ZDF ist nicht interessiert und das Projekt ist somit gestorben. 
für uns ist es ein bisschen schnell gegangen. Dachte, hey, so viel Geld und Zeit investiert und so, so viel Leidenschaft. Da kann man nicht einfach nach dem ersten Nein gerade aufgeben. Da haben wir gedacht, hey, machen wir selber ein Package machen mit dem Trailer und alles und schicken das zu den deutschen Sender. Und zwar äh, ORF und äh, RTL1 und RTL2 und Pro7 und, und Telepool und alle diese Sendungen. Da haben wir es geschickt. Obwohl das dann eigentlich wieder mehr Nein sind von Deutschland und von der Schweiz. Und dann hat man die Nein halt wieder gesammelt. Wir haben uns dann äh, überlegt, wieso das so ist. Und es hat fast so ausgesehen, als wenn die alte Generation überhaupt keine Verbindung hat mit der jungen Generation. Die haben überhaupt keine Ahnung, gehabt, was die junge Generation wird cool finden oder was die gerne sehen wollen. Und so. Die haben einfach gesagt, nah, wir sind nicht interessiert und basta. Und darum hat das nicht geklappt. Man hat es einfach noch nicht gesehen. Aber wir haben gewusst, dass wir ein Produkt haben, das wo, wo, wo funktionieren würde. Darum haben wir auch weitergemacht. Back in LA, we had to sit down and think about this whole thing. I mean, we tried the Swiss market, they didn't see it. We tried the German market, they didn't see it either. But we still believed that it could work. And giving up was not an option. I mean, and suddenly a light bulb went off and we got it. We thought, hey, let's change the concept into an American slash European production. Meaning, we would take an upcoming star from Switzerland, one from Germany, France, Italy and Spain and bring them over here and just follow them with the camera. Reality show, you know. And uh, we also intended, of course, to shoot a new trailer and then go to France, Cannes, the TV festival. Of course, there was no chance that we could pay for that ourselves, so we had to go out there and try to inspire people to give us money. And it didn't take too long until we met three investors who each put up $20,000. With that money we officially opened the production company with an office, secured a booth in Cannes for $10,000, paid ourselves a small salary for the next three months and for another $8,000 shot the new Hollywood Dreams trailer. City of Dreams, man. Yeah. Okay, action. One day, guys, we're all gonna have one of these. It's not about fame. It's about passion. I'm sorry, but if you don't pay the rent, you're moving out. Guess what? I got the part! This idiot! Don't act. Do. You didn't show up for the audition. I don't get it. I had something to do. I can't show up for every audition. I'm not gonna get married for a green card. He wants me to pause new. It's great that we're all friends, you know? Just because I'm not American isn't gonna stop me. bin ich dann mit dem Greg zusammen auf Gang gegangen, Frankreich. Das war sehr interessant. Wir haben mit 50, 60 Leuten geredet und alle gesagt, ja, das ist interessant. Und, ähm, ja, mal schauen, oder? Bis wir einen getroffen haben, und zwar war das der Brandon Fitzgerald. Das ist ein Amerikaner, der für eine deutsche Firma von Leo Kirch geschafft hat. Kirchgruppe. Und dann, als Roman came back and he mentioned that Leo Kirch was interested. Well, that was a major point because he is the biggest guy. He is the biggest mogul in Germany. And at that point, I knew we had a show. And we're gonna lock the deal, sign the contracts, and make a million bucks. Yeah! Yeah! yeah.